Let me clear this up. CY did not call the presidency to cancel the Naimali show. In fact, CY did not know there was a directive from the presidency until I said there was a directive from the presidency. CY does not have the leverage to call the presidency to cancel the Naimali show. It was done as a response to a, a request, a written request, that's administration, not calls, from a group of artists, not a comedian. A comedian does not have the leverage to do that. Um, and it was not just about the Naimali show. They were targeting international artists coming to perform mm -hmm. in Cameroon. And what sparked that was the Fali Ipupa show even. Um, the reason I'm saying this is important. The urban music industry and our activities is under challenges, facing challenges because of the divergent views of other actors in the industry, particularly in Yaoundé. And that's an issue that needs to be addressed. It's not a joke. I don't want comedians to be joking about it because it's something that the industry has to come together and solve. It's a deeper problem than that. And so that's why I, you know, I'm clear about not mixing things up. We may never know what really happened. All right, so Wax, back to you. You claim that it was a couple of artists who may have had the hand in this whole cancellation of the Naira Malik concert. Um, how true is that? What I'm saying is very true. Yeah. I'm talking authority, you know. Um, so here's my thing. See why it's a comedian. Where have you ever heard that a comedian cancel a musical show? Uh, the comment, the co <laughs> look, I, I, you know, somebody asked me, like, but see why I said it is. I said, see why it's a comedian, he's, he's making jokes, and we unfortunately are taking very seriously about an issue that is, is more serious than it looks. I call it a very serious issue because people might look at face value and say, Oh, this show was cancelled, but the reality is that our industry is under attack, which means that you could be doing this show here tomorrow, and somebody says, No, stop, stop this freaky table, it's not allowed. That's the implication of what happened. It means that tomorrow I could organize my show, suddenly couldn't organize the show. And on the day of the show, they say, no, this is not allowed to happen. So there's no certainty. And when there's no certainty, we're losing investors. We're losing, you know, we're losing everything. The whole industry is in, you know, it's going to be in a, in a state of. So when you say our industry is attacked, is it the Anglophone industry? Uh, no, or our, the music, generally? our music industry is under attack. Our music industry is under attack. Mm -hmm. That's the point. Now, by whom? That's where we need to get now. What I'm, um, I, I spoke under authority to say, and, and let me be very clear about this, you know, I'm the national coordinator of the musical arts sector in Cameroon. Yeah, um, a lot of people don't know that, but these things would get reported to me. And in, in future, it's going to get more organized. When, when Fali Pupa's show was announced, there were, a lot of, there were a lot of artists that got up and said, why are they bringing foreign artists? They're paying 20,000 francs for a bottle of... That caused commotion nationally. It went beyond the, 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 the Enobis concert. At the same time, CY was doing his thing, you know, and they were fighting. I, I didn't care about that. I never got involved in it. It's beneath me to get in that kind of a fight or to even comment about it. So when Enobis was fighting with CY and there was a war of egos and all of that, it was not a national issue. It was not worth our attention, I think. That was their personal Facebook scuffle. It could have ended there. Um, where it got my attention was the fact that the show was cancelled. Because then, that is an issue that needs to be addressed. At the same time, when Felicia was announced, all of us were complaining. And if you go read social media, you see there, was, there were reports by Ekambi Brian. I've said that before. That he, did, he gave interviews on TV where he said, this is impossible, it shouldn't happen. That they're bringing out here and they're spending all our money on them. Mm -hmm. Where we are not getting shows. Ama Piero was going wild in social media groups. The social media groups that actually talk about music issues, you know, that, uh, you know, that, that actually, that actually powerful, mm -hmm. where you find all the power people in those groups. And I'm part of those groups. Right. You know, the other ones like Kamei Entertainment Billboard, you know, the music club. Yeah, they're just discussing, but they don't have power. That's the reality. Right. There are groups where the people with power are sitting and they're able to go and take decisions and they're able to talk to the presidency. They've done it before, right. you know, and I saw these people discussing these things in those groups. So I don't think it's, it's by coincidence that at the same time, you know, I, I speak with the ministry and they, and they tell me, oh, there's a message from hi hierarchy. Not the ministry. It came from hierarchy, from the presidency, that we should limit the shows that international arts are doing. So how, how come that didn't affect Fali's show? Because if I thought the whole scrub was coming it, it from... Was, the thing is, this thing started once Fali's show was, was... It's a process. It's an administrative process. Remember, as, as he said, Blaise said, you cannot call the presidency and they cancel the show, as he claims. That's impossible. Yeah, Everything that is done is done by administration. Administration means that there must be a written thing. You get a discharge. There's a response and all of that. That's how administration works. You cannot sit and call your phone and call any office and they do they take any 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 action. It's impossible, first of all. So that should tell people that we're living in a place where we don't understand how things work and we think that we can just go and it misleads people about how things actually work. Because we're starting to that's what we call the Facebook industry. 
people have the impression that things are done by, by, by noise and all of that. No, there's a way that things work in administration. You write a formal letter, you get a discharge, you get a formal response. They will, they are forced to, if you send a letter to, to the president, the president is obliged to respond to you, you know, and, you know, and, and that's what happens. And so that was the process. Fali Pupa's show, you know, um, happened before that process was, was terminated. Very simply put. And if one, I'm going to play, I'm going to play a voice note where these things being explained, you know, right here. Uh, if, 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 if we need to do that, but that's exactly what happened. So now there was this other issue happening about, yes, um, um, at the level of the delegate and all of that. See what was probably complaining and saying his complaints. That's fine, you know, and the show got moved to Limba and all of that. But remember what, um, what, what was, what was said to Enobi and, and Bonte when they came to sit. They said when they, 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 they when Limbe, they accepted to the show and the delegate told them afterwards that, oh, there is a message from hierarchy that we cannot hold the show. So it hierarchy no, is not the governor of Southwest? No. It was no longer a decision at this level to say, no, it came from Yaoundé at this stage that we cannot hold the show. I am sorry. And this all happened within a few hours because at the time when you had accepted, yes, I'm going to hold the show. And they said, no, I'm sorry, I can't do it anymore because there's a message now from which is beyond our powers. So it's not coincidence that he says the mission of hierarchy and then the ministry says the mission of hierarchy. And there is a message from hierarchy because um, as of last week, when was the meeting held at, at the Ministry of Arts and Culture to discuss it? I'll tell you the day when, when it was held. Just give me a second. Um, there was a meeting at the Ministry of Arts and Culture, and I was informed of that meeting mm -hmm. to discuss this particular issue and how to respond to that. And they asked for my response, which I did. I have a, I can, I'll, I'll share it with you, yeah. um, I, you know, um, a written response. And just give me a second. Um, Blaze, you're here, right? Yeah. Okay. This, this... This this was since you, you this this is the the director of spectacle at Ministry of Arts and Culture. Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, this is our, our response. You know, I basically yeah. on February eighteenth. Yeah, this is February eighteenth when they had the meeting about, and I told her that That's we, four, four days after the four, four days after the show. Yes, it was supposed to take place. Yes. And she asked for a response. They were going to a meeting. I said, okay, I've, sp I've spoken with Stanley Eno and Salasiel. And we've agreed that we're going to send a letter directly for you to present to the meeting. And this is the, this is the letter, you know, that we, that we sent. It's signed by Stanley Eno, Waxde and Salasiel. Yeah. Yeah. And it's saying to the Minister of Arts and Culture, Dear Honorable Minister, limitation of concerts by foreign artists in Cameroon. We wish to express our appreciation, da, da, da. But he said, sir, we are deeply concerned by a new decision to limit the performance of foreign arts in Cameroon. We plead with you to, to approach the presidency to urgently review any decision in that line for several reasons. One, our artists and urban artists especially depend on international collaborations and foreign shows to make a lot of their income. And this decision is already causing many foreign industries to rebel against Cameroon artists. You know, um, I spoke specifically about the Naramali concert just cancelled last week. This sentiment from Nigeria is likely to spread to other countries and compromise our performance industry. Mm -hmm. You know, two, our focus should be on empowering local artists rather than fighting foreign artists. This can be done by ensuring that at least 80% of local music only is played across media and that our artists get the exposure and limelight they need to help export our music easily. Number three, it is not bad for foreign artists to perform in Cameroon. What is bad is when promoters fail to treat local artists fairly vis-a-vis -vis the foreign artists. Rather than limiting foreign artists to perform from performing in Cameroon, it's better to use their presence to promote local artists by imposing promoters to book at least um, local artists also and pay them fairly for every show. Therefore, we propose that at least one local artist be booked and paid a minimum of 50% of the fee paid to any foreign artist invited to perform in Cameroon. You know, and this, Honorable Mister, we count on your kind intervention.